What's up, everybody? I'm Isaac Camp, a.k.a. Chronic Tone. I'm a producer, an artist, and a teacher from Boston, Massachusetts. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Native Instruments machine to make a beat from scratch. Let's go. So, with the machine, we have eight different groups from A through H here with the blue buttons. And we have 16 pads each group has 16 different pads that you can load up any noise to and you can either load up samples that you have uh, procured yourself or you can use the software instruments that come with the program which there are a lot of so first I'll explain a little bit about the interface um, we have a couple knobs here. There's a volume knob, a pitch and tempo knob, and a swing and time knob. The machine has a couple different uh, modes. This is MIDI mode, and this is sampling mode. So whatever sound you have, you can either draw in notes by clicking them in, like this, and you can move them around or you can record them in with the, with the pad so if it's recording and playing and it shows them here delete that And so what we also have for the interface is we have a tempo up here in beats per minute. So a clock ticks at 60 seconds in one minute. So if this was at 60, it would be 60 beats in one minute. So it would be one beat for every second. So most songs are in between 70 and a hundred. A hundred being faster. Um, electronic music sometimes is faster like 120. <laughs> Trap music is a little slower at 70 like and um, normal tracks Pop, hip-hop music is in the middle around 80 or 90. But the most important thing is to have a good feel. It doesn't matter what the number of the tempo is. You want it to feel right. And uh, you want to be able to have the listener feel and perceive what you're trying to put out. So... I usually start with the melody myself, but for beginners and for learning purposes, I think it's better to start with the drums and the rhythm because then you can get a time signature and a tempo down to then play your instruments over rather than having to play your instruments to a metronome, which will... Um, keep you on time, but it's sort of annoying to listen to. So what I like to do is I like to draw in my drums first as the metronome. The metronome basically tells you um, your BPMs and will go one, two, three, four, two, your tempo beats per minute. So it'll go be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way. Those are all individual beats counting up to one minute. So if it did that 80 times in one minute, your tempo is 80 BPMs, which is exactly what I have it to right now. So first what we're gonna do is put down a rhythm with the drum set And then we're going to loop that and put some instruments on top of it. So 
So I'll start with uh, how I have my setup here. So I like to drum with kicks on my right hand and snares on my left hand. So. And then in the middle, oh, I have another snare here and another kick here, extra one. So these are all kicks and snares. And then hi-hat, another hi-hat, another hi-hat, which I don't really like. I'm going to switch out. The bottom end of a big 808 kick. I don't know if you can hear it. Another hi-hat and another open hi-hat. So these are all my percussive noises and these are all my kicks and snares. So it's easy. They're basically different sounds but the same kind here and here. Oh, and this one, little ride. So, usually, usually people put down a metronome and play their track to the metronome, but I would rather just put in my hi hat. One, two, three, four. And then we can hear the same as a metronome. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right? And it's showing it on the beat machine. So then we'll play with it for a second and see what we can come up with. So I'm just playing that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hit record and record that. It does one layer and it drew them in where my snare is. And then the hi-hats are here. And then actually we want to do a different kick. So now it's looping four bars. Boom, boom. Kick, kick, kick. Turn the volume down a little bit. So any pad that, any sound you want to turn down the volume, you hold it and then twist the knob. So I'm going to get it just right with the other ones balanced out and mix it in. All right. Very important step. Very important step. Once you have this down and you like it, save. Command S. And I'm going to save this as TCP Demo Beat 1. So now every time you make a little step, a little progress, boom, Command S, save. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust... I'm going to adjust the tempo while listening to the track, uh, to the, the drum beat so far and see where the pocket feels good for the rhythm. Turn it up a little bit. We're at 85. It's a little fast. That's 90. So as you can see, it keeps everything in relative, um, in relative rhythm, 
but when you turn it up, it sort of squeezes them together so it's, it loops faster. But they all have the relative same space in between. <laughs> find the right pocket that right rhythm where it feels good feels feels like it's moving good is called the pocket okay so that's 85 I like it right there so let's find let's find an instrument So I have a group of instruments that I've already uh, saved as a preset. And all of the individual sounds are on these pads, but they're all different sounds. And it has an echo on it, and the echo is called the delay. It's a time delay. So it hits once, and then it does delay, delay, delay. Like when you go to the mountains and you yell, echo, and echo, echo. And it bounces off the different surfaces. That's what's happening with this, this group of noises. They're all different, but the group has an effect on it. So the effect, the delay effect goes on all of these. So sort of some cool clicky noises to start with. I like this one. So it takes a little improvising to play with it to make, to come up with a cool idea. So piano and musicianship skills come into play because what I'm doing there is I'm just playing with a scale. Um, let's see, that's a C minor scale. And those notes all go together. So basically up and down the scale. I can do that up and down for each octave. This is an octave from from C to C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C to C. That's a ma that's C major. C D E F G A B C. C D E F G A B C. And then when I do these black notes. That is either D sharp or E flat. So see if I can so I'll do it out of sequence to see if it sounds cool like that. That sounds cool. Let's try it with the drums. That's okay. So do a different rhythm to the melody. So.
the next step is to record the musical melody over the rhythm that we have looped up. So what we want to do is since we're working in loops here, you can see the drum loop is one bar. One, two, three, four. Loop. One, two, three, four. So that's one bar. The melody that we have is going to be which is one bar and then if we need to make any variations to it we can change the length of it later so let's do that for now hit record so rather than having it go over and over again with just this loop If you listen to that for three minutes it's gonna get it's gonna get boring so we want to add some variation to it so I'm gonna have it maybe go then again let's change that last note We'll have it do that at the very end before it loops back around. So what we'll do is we'll take this pattern, this one bar, and double it, two bars, double it again, it's four bars. So then change this one note to lower. So we'll delete that and replace it. Actually, what we can do is put it in keyboard mode and we can move the note. So now we can see the individual notes here and we'll move it from to There's a zoom function here so I can see the notes a little bit bigger. And then we'll do the descending scale. Oops. So we'll delete this. That was a little late. I played it a little late, so I'm gonna drag. I'm gonna grab it and move it over a little bit. Make it a little earlier. Okay, that sounds good. So now what we can do is save. Okay. So now we have these two single bar patterns looping together. So now we can tune a couple things up. I think I want to Tune up this snare a little bit. So what 
I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the snare with an equalizer. An equalizer will boost different frequencies, which means the low, the mid, or the high. So I'm going to I'm going to turn up the snare a little bit so it's a little bit more in front. A little sharper. So I just added some high to it and cut out some low. So this is before and after. Okay, so now let's get creative and let's add some other layers to this beat. Let's look for another another instrument. Or actually, you know what we can do is we can add the add some 808 underneath it. So that pattern is going to be four bars. So I'm going to have to extend, I'm sorry, two bars. So I'm going to have to extend the drum pattern twice as long. So if you watch how many times it goes around when I'm playing this bass pattern. So one, two, three. So that's actually four bars. So we want to double this up so it can house that new thing I just did with the 808. So now it's four bars. So let's go ahead and lay that in there too. Wait around for it to come around one time. variation to it. Okay, cool. So let's save that. See if we can add a hi hat to this too. So I'm gonna, I like this hi hat, but I'm gonna edit it a little bit so it's a little bit more tight. 
Oh, and there's a reverb on it. Let me take that off. So now I can take this hi-hat. I'm going to put on the note repeat. So now we can add some dancing hi-hats to it. Let's mute this other one first. this to see if I can get a better feel for it. since it's on solo that some of these kicks so this is my main kick this is my main kick and this is the underlying kick so let's put those together So they gotta be on the same time or else they're sorta of gonna go, they're sorta of gonna flam like that. So we need to move this kick, oh, this kick underneath this one. So we'll do that just by zooming in and getting them nice and close. Actually, what we can do is we can take all of these and move them at the same time. Oops. Like so. So let me make sure. same distance. Timing is everything. Oh, I messed up. 
that up. Let's delete that. So I want to, I'm changing the time signature from 16th notes to 16th triplets. And then to 32nd notes. Not using the eighth. Start that over. Now those are a little early because I played the whole thing by hand and then I note programmed those in. So I'm going to drag these over to the right a little bit. Then it creates the right swing and the right pocket so it fits. Okay, so now let's listen to the instrument again. These sound a little late too. Now that the hi hat is tit 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 right on time, these last ones sound a little late. Okay, let's see if we can add in a couple, maybe one or two more instruments here. What do we got? Um, you gotta be imaginative and see what you hear in there. So this is a real high instrument, this arp, so I'm thinking something like a boom, 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 like a middle to low tone instrument. So maybe maybe a horn or maybe uh, another synth. Let's see what we got. So I'll go into the sound database here. So use the same keys as before. back around to the one Bass note has to match that bass line that I did above.
gonna touch it up with a mix we're gonna mix it a little bit which means we're gonna adjust some volumes and make sure everything is balanced right Triple kick there. Du, 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 du. So I'm going to turn this main instrument down and then work it back in slowly. One thing, one thing my mentor professor at Northeastern taught me, Mr. Anderson, Jim Anderson, he taught me, always use your ears, not your eyes. So it doesn't matter what the level of volume is on the screen, it's how it sounds. So what I always do to find the right volume is I turn it all the way down, now I listen to it and then slowly turn it back up until it's just right. Now we're going to do the master. And there you have it. And I'm going to show you in the next video how to structure a full beat with an intro and all of the verses and bridges, chorus and outro. Hope you enjoyed. Signing off.